guys welcome back it's Ledwina. Um, I know it's been a minute and I keep doing the off and on thing but life happens and whatever so here I am so today's look is just a simple smoky eye I say it's simple um, you can make it as simple as you want but um, yeah that's all I did I use my smoky eye palette by uh, Too Faced and it's if you're looking to do smoky eyes it's probably good to have a um, a palette or a trio that is for smoky like that might help a little bit but not necessary um, and I just picked up well these are two different things but I just picked up the um, foundation the Queen collection and my shade is Golden Honey I so far so good I've just been wearing it for all about three to five minutes um so far I like it I like the color I don't have to mix it with anything um we'll see how long it lasts before I have to start um blotting if I have to period but so far so good on that I will do a review once I figure out what's going on with it I have to use it a couple times and then I also got uh, I got the foundation for this but I got this powder and it's a pressed powder by Revlon and this shade is deep okay so that's what I've used to set um, my foundation and like I said so far I like it. so um, at the end of the video I tell you you know I just do the blush and the lips so you'll know what I use by then but I just want to tell you what I use on my face because I did it off camera and I think that's it I'll start rambling so you guys can see um, what's going on with this look so if you would like to see how I got the look stay tuned alright guys we're gonna go ahead and get started and um, I'm done my brows already so my first step is primer and today I'm using the Ruby Kisses um, eyeshadow primer and I just got this from my local beauty supply store just put that all over the lid and blend it out So the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is a MAC eyeshadow and this is called Texture. And I'm using a um, crease brush that looks like this. This is a Coastal Sense 250 brush in case you guys are wondering. Um, I'll just take that color and place it right above my crease right under the brow bone. And this is to help blend out other colors that I'm going to place down and help with the transition so this you can call it a transition color if you like blending color whatever you like but that's what I'm doing with this so we're gonna put on the eyeshadow base and a eyeshadow base is to help the colors stick and um, to make them become a little bit more vibrant so I am using the NYX pencil in slate and it's just a silvery um, smoky type color and I'm placing that all over the mobile lid so all across my lash line and up a little bit but not too far into the crease see that fold so we're just gonna take our middle finger and blend it up a little bit to help with blending but you want to keep the color as close to the lash line as possible because it goes from dark to lightest when you're um, blending and doing the smoky eye okay so now we're just gonna take our crease brush I didn't add anything extra to it to help with the blending so that you won't have any harsh lines so just go back and forth and blend that out so now I'm gonna go into my Too Faced Smoky Eye palette and the color that I'm grabbing is uh, no wrong one smolder this blue color here and I'm just taking a what is this a Revlon brush yeah just a Revlon just a crease brush like that and I'm gonna put that in the smoke and I'm gonna put it right on the outer V of the eye and blend it into the crease and stop at the middle but make sure that color is placed and blended So now I'm picking that color up again and putting it on the inner third and pulling it to meet in the middle. 
and just swing it back and forth. Now I'm going into my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. That's what it looks like. And I'm going into Nice Ash. This very pretty silver color. Putting that, packing that all on and putting it all in the middle where we don't have the um, smolder eyeshadow. Pat that in and blend it out. Now I'm just going to take that brush again and just blend those colors right in the middle. So now I'm going to go back with texture, the first eyeshadow we put on, and I'm taking it right along the crease of the smolder eyeshadow and just make it a soft blend just like that now I'm going to do our highlight and I'm going into this shadow called day and I'm just going to put that right in the highest part of our brow start right there and then just blend that color down and now that creates a line that we want to get rid of so what I'm going to do is to add a little bit more warmth. I'm taking Max Eyeshadow in Rule. R-U-L-E, Rule. Taking that eyeshadow, and it's just a matte orange, but it's not super bright. And I'm placing it in between the highlight and the crease color. And we're blending that color out. So now I'm going to start, uh, do the liner, and I did like a small wing. So I'm going to go into my e.l.f. cream eyeliner. And that's what it looked like. It's a really good black liner. I'm taking this angled brush, and whatever angled brush works for you, but this one is an Urban Decay one. And I think this angled brush helps with uh, my wing. So I love that. So now we're just going to do our liner and our wing. For my bottom liner, I'm using Sabbath eyeliner by Urban Decay and this is just a navy navy eyeliner and I'm putting that on the bottom waterline but I'm not carrying it all the way over I'm just stopping it right a little bit past the middle then I'll take a brush that dome shaped brush that looks like this and I'm going into that smolder color the blue and I'm just going to smudge out this line. This helps liner stay longer and it helps with blending it out. Next I'm going into this color called Cloves and it's just a really pretty gold color. And I'm taking a little detail brush like this and I'm putting that right really. And I'm putting that right on the tear duct and dragging it over the bottom inner third. And that basically opens the eye a little bit, giving a little dimension. So now I'm going to finish the rest of the look. I'm going to put lashes on and mascara and then I'll be back to complete the rest of the face. Alright guys, so foundation's already done. I'll let you know somewhere at either the beginning or the end or what I used as far as foundation goes. But now we're going to go on to our, 
contour and blush so I'm using the Queen collection um, bronzer in ebony bronze and I'm taking a um, brush that looks like this this is a expert face brush by real techniques and I'm just taking that all over this brush and I'm contouring right in the cheek area to make my cheekbones pop a little bit and then we're going to carry the rest up into the temples and the hairline so as far as blush I'm using Milani's red vino blush and this is a baked blush really pretty I'm taking a angle brush like this and just tapping it in and brushing it up towards the temples just a soft flush is all you need so now for a uh, highlight I am using the Artesian Baked Bronzer by Black Radiance, and this is in Ginger Snap. Just a really pretty golden, really pretty golden, very sheer, but it's pretty enlightening. And I'm using my contour brush, but it's too soft to contour, I think. But anyway, and I'm putting that right on the highest part of my brows right in the highlight area I'm sorry on the top of my cheeks <laughs> not brows not, can you guys see that glowy glow and a little bit down the nose and then I'll just take my um, little kabuki brush and just blend everything Now for the lips. So I already moisturized with my EOS ball and this one is the lemon one. The best lip moisturizer ever in my opinion. And I'm going to take my um, Ruby Kisses lip liner in plum which I always 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 use because it hasn't failed me. Um, so I'm going to line and fill in my lips. So now I'm going to do a lipstick and I'm using Rimmel's Airy Fairy which is a pretty nude but it's a pinky type lipstick. That's what it looks like and of course it has, that's, I always use it with this liner so that's what's on here. So now I'm going to throw a gloss on it to seal it and make it a little bit shiny and I'm using Bianca. It's a um, buxom lip gloss and I'm just putting it right in the center. And that is the completed look so I'll zoom in so you guys can see um, the eyes up close. completes our look at the beginning of the video I will tell you guys everything I use on my face and um, I hope you guys can I'm not posting it to my blog because that's a lot for me to post here and to my blog so maybe I'll post everything I used in the bottom bar um, maybe that I'll help you guys in case you missed what I use so in the meantime um, thanks for watching I hope you guys learned something I hope you can take something from it and until the next video bye <laughs>